With two weeks off work for the Christmas holidays, we decided at the last minute to book ferry crossings for a North Island road trip. The truck was as ready as we'd ever have it, so we left home on Christmas Day and began our adventures heading towards the Mackenzie country of the South Island. As the sun set on Christmas Day and we enjoyed the peacefulness of our surroundings, just the three of us, we fell asleep feeling incredibly grateful for today and excited for the trip days ahead of us.
morning from the shore front of Lake Tegapo. We are um, we are probably about halfway along the Lilybank Road. Last night we went all the way up to the top of Lilybank Road, had a look at the river crossing into Macaulay Valley. Um, the main channel was flowing quite fast and quite deep, so because we were just looking for a wee pullover camp area um, along there anyway, we thought it wasn't worth um, doing the crossing by ourselves. Um, so we came a little bit back um, along the Lilybank Road to this four wheel drive access um, area and had the most beautiful um, night's sleep here. It's quiet, we could hear the water um, and yeah, just really peaceful and idyllic. Um, and we've had such a slow morning um, this morning, just soaking up the sunshine and getting used to the change of pace. Um, we are now in holiday mode. So we're gonna head out shortly back to Tekapo, grab some diesel um, and then head along the road and probably do a bit of exploring Fairley, Geraldine and then out to Ashburton to visit friends later today. We get a lot of interest in our truck setup. So while we were packing up on day two, we thought we'd do a quick walk around tour of the rig. So starting on the outside, we've got the old LED light bar, just in case we get stuck. Um, but no, really it's just to help. At night, I've built a bull bar for it. Got a winch in there for if we get stuck. Um, what else have we got? We've got a snorkel, so we can go through some water crossings without drowning it. Got the mud tires and the steel rims. Lifted suspension all around to carry all the weight that we've got on it. Got a solar panel up on the roof, along with our belt and shelter accommodation. In the back here, solar panels feeding down into our Goal Zero battery bank. So the Goal Zero is currently powering the fridge and we charge all of our electronics off it. It also charges off the alternator of the vehicle. Just a wee drawer here for some storage for whatever you may like to put in there. It's also the platform for the teddy dog in his bed. <laughs> hey mate. Coming around the back. We've got barbecue, clothes, toilet, water, gas, hot water shower, full size table, a couple of umbrellas chairs on either side, full length drawers, so this is our pantry, and they lock back in, We've got a wee cooker in here and some utensils, cleaning stuff, the workbench, another small drawer, some more bits and pieces and some recovery gear, big pull out awning on the side and in here under the doggo into the fridge and then up the front just your usual bits and pieces we've got a UHF radio on there, fire extinguisher on the passenger side floor, aerial for the radio, and yeah, this is our rig.
we are at Hagley Park in Christchurch um, and we're about to make lunch and take Teddy for a walk around the park before we jump on the road. Last night we had a wonderful evening with friends just out of Ashburton, camped in their driveway, um, it was such a good night's sleep um, in the rooftop tent um, and yeah just got to hang out with them and eat delicious food and catch up. Um, and then this morning I had a dread appointment in Christchurch, so I was getting the front of my hair re-dreaded. Um, I had it brushed out for about a year um, and it was driving me nuts, so I have um, got that put back in. So that is all feeling lovely and fresh. Um, yeah, and it is the 27th today and we are crossing the ferry on the evening of the 28th, basically the 29th. Um, overnight so we've got today and tomorrow to make our way up to Picton and head on up into the North Island. It was a restful night in the Felden at the camp spot we found on the Hurunui River mouth. The next morning we had hot showers thanks to our Julka hot tap and packed up to head north and find a way to fill a very long day because some clever person had booked the 2.30am ferry crossing. We arrived in Depicton to a scorching hot day and managed to find ourselves an incredible lookout spot to unfold the tent for an afternoon nap while we waited for the rest of the day to pass.
first in our lane. Ready to get on the ferry. What do you think, Teddy? You ready for your first ferry ride? and years later. After a sleepless but smooth crossing of the Cook Strait, we arrived at 6am into Wellington and headed out to the coast to stretch our legs. We spent our time in Wellington with Matt's family, including a beaut walk up Mount Coco. However, we didn't feel much of this time, instead just soaking up precious time with loved ones we don't see often enough. Day we left Wellington in the afternoon to start the trek further north to visit friends for New Year's. Thanks to one of the various phone apps we have for campsites, we happened upon a rustic but very cool mountain bike park nestled against the Whanganui River where we could camp. This would be home for the night and we were very sad we hadn't brought the mountain bikes with us on this trip. looked like a lot of fun and the place had a great setup for campers. We've just about perfected the art of watching a movie in the Felden too now. We were starting to get some routine in our camp days. Showers, breakfast, coffee, time to journal my morning pages and Matt has the packing of his surf down to a fine art. Had a few kids, bought a new house, promised you heaven but it never did work out. Got a new job and moved uptown. I bought you everything you never questioned why. All this time I waited for a season where everything fell. 
We spent New Year's Eve making our way towards Hamilton, where we'd be staying for a couple of nights with old friends of ours. Teddy was in for an absolute treat because our friends had three schnauzers of their own. They played for hours while we made traditional Filipino food. On New Year's Day, Matt had booked us in for a tour at Hobbiton, and I was beyond excited for this. It didn't disappoint, so be prepared for the next four minutes of footage of an afternoon on set. If you're a Hobbit or Lord of the Rings trilogy fan, then please put this one on your bucket list. The tour is packed with really cool insight into the movie making, and it's neat to see the set living on years after filming has finished.
Sadly, it was time to keep heading on our road trip. We were very close to needing to change direction to start heading back south again. We spent a morning visiting the Hamilton Gardens, another place to add to your list if you've never been, before we drove out east. Close your eyes, hear the voice within. to visit friends in Tepuki, but at the last minute, thanks to a COVID risk, we had to change our plans. We found a camp near Makitu for the night, which would prove to be the worst night's sleep yet, thanks to gale force winds. So we were on the road at dawn heading south. 
Our spirits were low, but this day would turn out to be one of our best days on the road yet, filled with our favourite sorts of adventures. While the rain persisted, Matt, on a whim, pulled off to Okiri Falls, and we ended up spending almost an hour exploring this incredible spot. From there, we found a cafe open in Rotorua because a real coffee was needed. And then we took Teddy for a walk amongst the incredible redwood forest. Over the desert road we continued south, with a short pit stop at the top for a highly nutritious lunch consisting of cereal.
Our campsite for the night would be tucked up against the Rangatiki River at Mangaweka. It had turned into a very hot day and we were more than ready for a slow afternoon and early evening. On the road again. We're so lucky Teddy is so chilled about all the travel we were doing. Another hot day, we enjoyed all the small towns on our trek back towards Wellington. day in the North Island was dedicated to doing the Party Fero Red Rocks four-wheel drive track on Wellington's south coast. We both enjoyed this track, vastly different to anything we've done in the South Island.
Another stupid o'clock ferry crossing. We were headed back to the mainland. One eternity later. Time in the North Island had been far too short, but the weather was starting to fail us as we headed down the country for home. We have bookmarked so many places along our drive for next time. Roads we wanted to turn down and explore, people we want to spend more time with, sights we want to spend more time seeing. The homeward bound journey always leaves me a little melancholy. We took two days to make it home from Picton, checking out a couple of new places we hadn't seen before but I was ready to get home to see how wild my vegetable garden had become and find my routine and rhythms in this new year. <laughs>